Hi, welcome back to Haris BI. This video is about how to find different data connectivity modes that are used across all semantic models across workspaces. Please subscribe my channel for more videos. If you are new to my channel, my name is Hari. I post videos about Power BI, Microsoft Fabric and so on. I have already posted more videos about Microsoft Fabric, Power BI and some of the real time scenarios. You can go and check all of them. Okay, let me explain you the scenario why you need to understand the different connectivity modes which are used on the semantic models. Right, let's say there are multiple workspaces right, uh, and you are trying to manage all of them and there are multiple semantic models, multiple Power BI reports and if you want to understand how many semantic models which are referring the import connectivity mode or how many of them are in direct query or how many of them in composite models right to understand uh, better i just created a simple report uh, based on the response that i got from microsoft power bi and here you can have i mean you can create a report with the different uh, information just to show you uh, you can get all of these right so content provider type is a some uh, it's an attribute which will be available for each data set which will hold different values like it might have a value like admin portal in composite mode in direct query mode in import mode and you also have a same set of uh, information or a content provider available with pbix uh, in composite pbix in direct query import live connection real time so these are all different content provider types which are supported in uh, power bi so let's say if you are interested to see how many uh, direct query based data sets right so you can see that and i have uh, 12 uh, direct query based data sets available across all my workspaces so let me show you how to extract this information so this information is extracted uh, using power bi apis so just search for power bi rest api and uh, you go to the first url this is a microsoft document url and uh, here you can see data sets so if you go to data sets get data set or a get data set let me go to get data set in group right so here you need to provide group id data sets and data set id just specific group id and specific data set id so you can see the sample response uh, and if you go to the definition the there there is a attribute called content provider type the content provider type for the data set right so this is the description of this particular attribute but uh, the thing is unfortunately the these apis are not giving this content provider uh, type attribute so most of the time you will be getting uh, the response something like this right it will have the name of the uh, data set uh, and then configured by is refreshable and other other additional uh, attributes or uh, properties so unfortunately this content provider type is not coming as part of this api to get this uh, content provider type uh, as of now we have to go with admin apis so go to admin apis under admin apis uh, either you can go to get groups or you can still go to data sets right so both are providing this information so if i go to the uh, uh, data sets get data sets as admin so this will uh, list out all the data sets which are available across uh, the power bi tenant and uh, here you will have the content type again right if you see here uh, content provider type and if you try to use this api you will get a response uh, uh, with the appropriate results so let me try uh, this uh, api so click try it you can still call this api uh, from your uh, uh, postman or a powershell scripts or notebooks right uh, you can use any client application which supports uh, the rest api calls and here I can just simply uh, run and this is the response that I got right if you see uh, this response you will see a property called uh, content provider type and it says PBI uh, X in import mode and this this property will be available for all the data sets right so either you can use this API or you have another uh, API called uh, get groups get groups ad admin and if you go with uh, get groups as admin this will list out all the workspaces that you have across your power bi tenant on top of that uh, you can still expand this whole uh, api and you can include uh, the data sets or uh, reports data flows all right i'll give you an example okay if you see this example you can see uh, get groups and expand uh, here they have expanded to dashboards so like that you can still expand it to a uh, data sets 
right? So and this will list out all the data sets, and you will see the content provider type as uh, the uh, the value of the data set. Using these two APIs, you can get this content provider that will give you an idea what is the exact connectivity mode that got used on that data set. I hope you like this video. Please click the subscribe button and bell icon to get the latest updates. And also, please like this uh, video and share it with your friends and colleagues. Thanks for watching.